Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Look at this name. Alexander Krovavik. Krov... Krov... Krovavik. Krov... Krov... Let's start again. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Alexander Krovavik from the ELC3K clan. There's an ELC3K clan. He's got three marks on his barrel. He's from the ELC3K clan. Um, and he's 3K. He's, what is it? People that can play the ELC and get 3K damage? We have to watch this replay because it's an ELC. And you're just going to like shake your head and go, oh my god. Speaking of which, ELC t-shirt would make a great Christmas paraffin. Oh, Jesus. Hello? Hello, Klaus. It's Pierre. Okay. What, 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 what? It's near Christmas. I'm trying to plug my merch. So no, 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 you did the stupid merch, the stupid t-shirts no one wants to buy because they suck. Huh? It's huh? Pierre. Uh, uh, of course it's Pierre. What do you expect? This is so stupid. Well, uh, Look, I'm trying to do a replay. Okay, well... Uh, what? All right, it's it. It's coming up to the Christmas season. I'll let you say one nice thing to the viewers, okay? Oh. I'm gonna put put this right beside the microphone. Uh, right. That's a very, be nice. You hold very close. Okay, uh, okay. I'd be very nice. Mange la merde. Hello? He hung up. <sighs> okay. Well, what did we miss? We didn't miss anything. Uh, because his team is a, a a collage of clueless Muppets. And this is what happens when you have three marks on your barrel. You go and do something useful like spot all the enemies. Uh, put your tank at risk. And your team shoots them and does 87. He did 87 spotting assist. And this is why most players that are really good at the game uh, don't waste their time spotting. They hang around in uh, good uh, sniper positions or positions where they have long lines of sight and they do the damage themselves. It's a fact. It's a fact, okay? Uh, it's a fact, Jack, that if you're a really good player, you realize uh, a lot of times it's a waste of freaking time. Oh! Oh, ho, ho, he's going to get behind a, oh, a leopard, a tier 5 leopard. Get behind the bush, bush. He's gonna push, push from the bush. And that leopard's behind a bush and he's behind a bush so he does not get spotted. Oh, he did, he did. Oh, 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 you did not back up. But he's a hard little target to hit. Okay guys, he's uh, uh, Alexander Kro. I like, the, I like his name, there's a bug in here. Oh no, can he make this shot? This is uh, tough, he's got the, the big gun, right? He's got the, the big. Oh! Although, he's assisted by Wargaming. He doesn't actually have to hit the target. Wargaming helps him. Maybe it's because he's Russian. Uh, da, da, da. Shell did not hit target, but we just... Whoop, we, whoop, we deviate Shell. He clearly missed that shot, but... Um, Wargaming said he deserves to maintain his elite status... Three mark status on his tank, and uh, so there you go. Uh, uh, but uh, but Wargaming changed their mind and said, "Screw you! That shot hit." We're in other words, we have no idea how this game works. No idea. Nobody has any idea. Anyone who tells you they have an idea how the game works is lying, uh, and uh, nobody, including you, have any idea. How this game works. He's behind the bush. He shot him. Is he going to get detected? No. Because that guy's... How far is he? 204... He was 200 meters away. <laughs> but the bush is powerful. Yes, it is. <laughs> or he's blind. Okay, let's just enjoy the fun. This guy's going to give us a um, a tutorial on how 
how to play this tank and how to like just ridiculously dominate on the battlefield and uh oh you could shoot the artillery maybe does he see the artillery he's in the middle of the map no one can see him he's got fantastic concealment he's playing against muppets that can't uh that can't see him because they have poor view range there's bushes there's magic bushes all that kind of stuff but the the uh what i just said at the beginning is true <clears throat> a lot of really good players uh they give up on spotting like he's accidentally spotting now because he's in the middle of the map but he's interested in doing damage and he's very cognizant of the fact that he's got probably 50 percent concealment so he's looking at the mini map to see where the if any dots show up because he's going to spot people before they see him you know any of them get within potential of even having a hope of spotting him and then he'll move um <laughs> But if you're a really good player, I uh, you sometimes you just get tired of uh, making aggressive plays and uh, trying to spot uh, when you have a team behind you that is utterly, completely clueless, or just doesn't know what to do, uh, doesn't shoot the targets you light, or they don't get, or uh, you know, there's a they weren't they weren't ready, they weren't in the right place, well because they just don't know where to go, right? They they'll see a light tank going to a certain position or they won't see it I, is actually what I'm trying to say they won't see the light and he did not get spotted because the tiger went behind the bush and the tiger has no view range but that you, they'll they won't even look they'll have a mini map like this and they don't even know that their light tank went into a position where it could light targets so they don't move to the uh, within render range or they don't go to the ridge line they just have it in their mind on this map, I go to B9. I like to go to B9, and there's a bush there, and I'm going to wait in that bush at B9. And an ELC will go spot, and they're still going to go to B9, even though they probably should go uh, to the ridge line to shoot who he spots, right? They just A lot of people do not react to the motion of their teammates uh, in the game. So, so a good player will uh, realize that and say, "Okay, screw it. I'll uh, I'll just do the damage myself." And now the Hellcat did not spot him at it was 150 meters, and now he's going to use the bush. Does he remain undetected? No, he got spotted. Okay, the Hellcat's very close now, and the Hellcat doesn't like to shoot. Oh, the Hellcat shot, but he he missed because uh, you know he, he but he hit him on the move. He aimed and missed. But he hit him up because that's how this game works. <laughs> so, anyways, what am I trying to say? When you uh, play a game and there's a really good player and you and the good player is farming damage, uh, don't get mad and you say he's uh, he's he's not a team player. He's farming damage because he's probably played 50 games. Uh, where he went to spot and no one shot their guns and so a higher percentage chance of winning if he farms damage like this little guy wait till you see how much damage he does now I, uh, the spotting he's doing is is accidental he's doing some accidental spotting <laughs> shouldn't say what's a better word than accidental um, oh, in invariably no in in um, incongruently now what's the what's the <laughs> give me the word guys when you do you do something but you didn't you didn't plan on doing it inadvertently that's the right not a, not unbearably not in un, unvariably inadvertently he's inadvertently spotting people right because he's moving into positions where he can shoot because he has really good view range uh and stealth he like inadvertently uh, is uh, spotting people and so he's got uh, 1,899 spotting assist if he had a, oh, oh, a KV-85 behind him does he see the KV-85 behind him does he see it the KV-85 did not spot him he was not pushed 
Look how close he is to the cannon. Okay, now he's spotted. Let's see. I'm gonna back up. See how far how far was that KV-85 that did not spot him? Okay, he's just gonna he fires his gun. Now let's just check. The KV-85 is 244 meters away. I guess he's he bushed himself with the bush behind him. No, that but he's still within uh, he's still within uh, 15 meters of that bush. So th so this bush is not adding concealment, but there is uh, maybe that bush there is in the line of sight. No, it's just it's just bad view range on the KV-85 part. And now 211 meters. So the KV-85 is a lot closer. Three seconds ago, the KV-8, 194 meters. So I don't, when he was about 200 meters from the KV-85, he got spotted. So it's all, it's all the mechanics. It's all just math, right? It's all, it's all math. Um, after firing his gun, this guy probably only has 10% concealment. So that bush must have been providing concealment. He must have, he must have been 15 meters from that. Didn't look like he was, but he, he must have been. Because if that bush did not provide concealment, when he fired his gun, that KV-85 probably should have should have seen him, right? I'm just trying to do some math in my head. If the KV-85 could see him at uh, uh, 200 meters, you want the math that I'm doing in my head? The KV-85 spotted him when it was about 200 meters away, direct line of sight. He's on the move. He probably has 40% concealment on the move. So the KV-85 has to have 200 plus 40%. The KV-85 probably has to have some decent view range. Otherwise, he would not have spotted him at uh, 200 meters. He spotted him when he was 200 meters away. Unless the Hellcat did, unless I'm totally screwed up. But I think the KV-85 spotted him when he was about 200 meters from him. This guy has, I'm guessing, about 40% concealment on the move. So the KV-85 has to have 200 plus 40%. We'll do the math. The KV-85 has, um, well, 280. 240, 200 plus 40 plus 40. The KV-85 has 280 meter view range. Okay. So, so... The bush did not provide concealment because he was 310 meters away when he fired first with the bush. Doesn't matter if the bush had concealment, right? Because the KV-85 has 280 meter view range. If he's 300 meters away and the bush isn't working, it doesn't matter. He didn't need the bush. Ah! See, it's all math. He was about th over 300 meters away when he first fired, right? And the KV-85 didn't see him. And I said, does the bush work? It doesn't matter. KV-85 has 280 meter view range, approximately. Now he's using the bushes perfectly. He spots him. He backs up. Okay. The KV-85 is only 140, 150 meters away, but there's a big 25% bush in between them. And he remains stealthy. Oh, it's perfect. He's like a pro. Like a pro. Now he spots him. He backs up. The bush is bushy. Look how far away he is from the bush. See, much farther than he was uh, in that shot we were, we were discussing. So it all makes sense. And um, you know, maybe through our discussion of the math, you kind of... You can do these calculations... Probably this guy is good enough that he does these calculations kind of on the fly in his head. He knows by looking at the minimap and the circles how far he has to be from enemy. And that's why he aced the tank and he's got all these medals including patrol and he's got three marks on his barrel and he was able to do 3,619 damage, 1,890 XP and uh, he probably lost credits because he spammed APC online! Okay, so let's uh, watch a tank that I actually enjoy, one of my favorite tanks in the game, the Leopard one. And... Um, uh, that was a great ELC game, and it uh, kind of stimulated some conversation about uh, view range and concealment, right? So you guys followed that? Uh, I might have mucked it up a little bit, because I was doing it in my head on the fly. 
Uh, but uh, the point is, right, um, if, if a tank has, um, like if the KV-85 or any tank has 300 meter view range, just pick a number, and you're a little tank and you're uh, 310 meters away, doesn't matter if you fire your gun, it doesn't matter if you, if you have 0% concealment, he can't see you, no matter what you do, whether you shoot, doesn't matter, right? Because you're farther than his maximum detection range, which is if the if the guy had 300 meter view range and you're 310 away, you could pull your pants down and moon him and go, woo, 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 right? He doesn't see you. It's only when you're within his view range that the concealment of bushes and of uh, uh, whether you're shooting uh, or not, whether you're shooting on the move or shooting stationary, if you're a medium tank other than a light tank, whether you're you know, all those things, all the numbers that change. Much harder for a medium tank, because a medium tank has uh, different <coughs> concealment when it's moving as opposed to when it's sitting still. A, a light tank has uh, the same, right? It doesn't lose concealment when it's moving. All that stuff. Uh, and when you get to the higher tiers, it gets even a little bit more complicated because there's commander's vision system. If a tank... That if you're within a tank's view range that has commander's vision system, and it could be in the optimal slot, right? All that will snap! <laughs> and the leopard scores a kill. If Oh, and the leopard shoots again. Now, you might be spotted. Get out of there. Get out. Sometimes you're spotted. You have to, like, assume you're spotted. At the higher tiers, if someone has commander's vision system, uh and you're within that tank's view range, uh, whether you're moving or not, it decreases your your concealment. And if you're behind a bush, it reduces your concealment. It's basically negating some of the bush's concealment. So the numbers get skewed by like 10, 15%, depending on the slot and stuff. So it gets a little bit more complicated, right? Uh, so th there's, there's different factors. There's different factors, but uh, at the low tier, uh, if you're a really good player and you're playing the ELC, you typically don't have to worry about tier 8 tanks. Typically. Uh, so you don't have to worry about those... Uh, you know, you're running into that one guy, that Budosk, that has uh, a Binox, a low noise muffler, and commander's vision system, and he's in a bush and he's got a 602 meter view range. And you think, oh, you know, I, I look at my circle, I'm, I should be safe. And you fire your gun, even though you're bushed, and he spots you. And you go, what? And when, when, you're, uh, when you're playing and you're in a tier 8 or above opponents, if you're a tier 6 or 7 light tank, uh, and you're trying to have the monster, you're, you're spotting game, or you're trying to use your concealment and vision, and it's worked 15, 20 times when you're fighting tier 6s and 7s. You go to this bush, you back up, you, you know, and you, everything works. Then you play a game and all you're spotted immediately. And you're going, what? And you're in a tier 8 game, or there's tier 8s and 9s. And you look at the, look at the list of tanks. Typically it's going to be those stealthy medium tanks. Like a Budosk, a Leopard sometimes. Um... Some of that Polish one. Uh, that, you know, it could be anything, really. But uh, typically, it's going to be the medium tanks. Higher tier medium tanks. If you're a tier 7 light tank, there's a tier 8 stealthy medium tank on the uh, opposition. They might have a chance of that. That guy's got optics and commander's vision system. So everything gets skewed, right? Usually, the heavy tanks, they're not going to go for, for that. Uh, sometimes TDs do. I don't know if TDs can get Commander's Vision System. Yeah. Anyway, so, so look at the loadout. And if it's a stealthy medium tank, or any medium tank really, you got to be a little bit more uh, worried about your aggressive positions. I learned this when I was playing, because I love playing light tanks. I love playing... Um, uh, tier 6, 7, and 8 light tanks are fun. Right? Uh, yeah, six and seven is really fun, light tanks. Uh, w one reason is because of what we just witnessed with the ELC. You can get in games without tier eights. And you have just such a strong um, 
uh, advantage if you're built for concealment and view range because a lot of the tanks you're fighting against can't uh, counter you because they haven't played the game long enough or they don't have commander's vision system right so it, it's easier <laughs> and I need all the help I can get so I was really well or really good at uh, tier 6 and 7 light tanks and in fact I'm going to start playing them more uh, as I play my own account now I, I think I'm going to give up grinding uh, tanks that I will be futilely bad at anyway. Like, why do I need to grind the uh, uh, the Japanese heavies or the you know, whatever uh, whatever other line, some stupid line that Wargaming puts in this game? Oh, oh, did you know that there's Chinese tanks with rocket boosters now? You know, I don't give a flying fuck that there's Chinese tanks with rocket boosters. I'm never going to play them. Uh, I uh, I think I've progressed in my um, World of Tanks career. As uh, I'm going to play tanks that I find fun. Uh, and I, I will never play Chinese rocket boosting tanks. I don't give a shit about them. Uh, but I have a, a, a collection of tier 6, 7, and 8 light tanks. That have really good crews and really good equipment. And when I pull out in my... There's the WZ whatever one, whatever one. <laughs> So WZ whatever one 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 one, the Chinese one, the tier seven, or that what's that other one, the fifty nine sixteen. Uh, you you're gonna laugh, but uh, the um, the German one, that that shoot with the rear mounted turret that shoots uh, the SP one C, this stupid little light tanks that you'd say, well, they're not gonna what you want to play those, they um because I have really good crews in them they're gonna be uh they're gonna be fun 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 till wargaming takes all my tanks away you know, like one day they'll power creep them out of the game so they'll, they'll be shit but uh, uh, playing those because I have uh, a, a kind of a setup and an advantage like like that ELC player and what I'm saying is it's not all skill okay uh, like that ELC player that just played the game. He's a very good player. He knows exactly what to do. He, he can do the math in his head. He can. Uh, he's obviously a, a very good player. I'm not not detracting anything from you, my friend. But um, snap. But you can only achieve that result in that tank if uh, you put in the time to get the six skill crew and have the right equipment and. It's, it's a grinding game, right? He's, and maybe that's uh, why his clan is called uh, ELC3, whatever. Maybe that's his go-to. Let you check his stats. Maybe he's played 50,000 games in the ELC. And so he's smart. He's playing the game, taking advantage of the game mechanics to play a tank that uh, he has got to a level where it is superb versus the enemies, right? Now, I will tell you that that player, that same player on the same map versus the same enemies if he had to play that game with a, a stock ELC with a stock crew and, and no equipment he would not have had that result I, I don't care how good he is right with all the same moves and the same knowledge and the same uh, the same person at the controls it's not possible to achieve that result um, with a stock tank and that that's the intrinsic uh, unbalance imbalance in this game is that you get rewarded for putting in time and uh, building up your uh, tank so that it's um, uh, much much better than the opposition beginners oh snap <laughs> right it's a, that, that's how the game works you know whether you like it or not that's a if you play the game that's you've accepted that right your best tanks are going to be the ones that uh, you play the most and you have all the best uh, the purple equipment and the, the field modifications and the blah and the blah and the blah blah blah. All of that. So it's perfect. And snap. Oh, he ricocheted. Ricocheted. And now he's going to get shot by everyone. Ricocheted. You better take him out. Oh, he ricocheted again. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. And the T69 that has a four shot clip only shot him once. And you're still lit, buddy. You got to get out of there. You're going to ricochet yourself out of the game. What are you doing? Okay, now he's moved. Look, this is good now. You see what he did? While I'm ranting about... 
he moves so that the M6Y and the T69 are outside his white circle. He's going to disappear from their screen. And now if he shoots, he won't get spotted. They have no hope of spotting him. So he's... They know he's still here, but they can't see him. They simply cannot see him. Doesn't matter if his concealment is zero. So he's put himself... And Wargaming said, no! You Fuck you, your shot missed! You're in a leopard! It's too accurate! Aim your shot, aim your shot, aim for the... Aim for it. <laughs> and Wargaming said, no! You're in a leopard! You cannot hit those shots! <laughs> So he's doing the same thing that um, the ELC did. He's putting him, himself in a position uh, where he can't be detected. And that time he was because the uh, T-69 was inside his white circle. So, uh, what's the what's the moral of the what's the moral of the of this video? Is uh, have fun in the game, and having fun in the game is. Um, not about just getting the new shiny tank that war game like the uh, the extreme of that is rushing out to get the new shiny tank and get the number on it i got number 2343 of the new tank i that i gave all my resources for. <laughs> look at me i'm the 2143rd biggest moron customer that gave war gaming all my uh, Okay, whatever. You want to collect it, collect it. But uh, I'll, I'll guarantee that that tank is probably not going to be the tank that you're going to enjoy playing. It's gonna, you're going to play it a few times and go, oh, it's okay. It's not great. And it's going to sit in your garage. And every time you look at it, you're going to see the number uh, 2,346 flashing at you. You're going to think, whatever. The tank you're going to really love is the tank you've spent all the time in to get to the the crew six skills and the and all the equipment and it might be a if you're not a super unicom maybe it's your tier oh maybe it's your tier seven light tank but hey the leopard the leopard we all love the leopard so fantastic game taut huh look at that eight thousand one hundred ninety four damage ten kills he actually made some credits. Leave some comments, guys. Let me know what you think. Have fun in the tanks that you do the best in. Don't always uh, uh, waste your time grinding the, the new shiny things. That's my advice. Let me know what you guys think, think in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Help the channel keep growing. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.